Welcome back to the shop and to the channel. It's been better than six months, I think, since I've done a little odds and ends. So I figure it was time to go ahead and update the sticker board and some small acquisitions that uh, I've made in the shop. But first, I want to chat a little bit about the visit that I took down to Hilltop machine works in Virginia well as many of you who subscribe to my channel that also subscribe to Tom's know that earlier this year Tom had a fire in his shop and it caused quite a bit of mayhem not the least of which was covering every single machine in the shop with a layer of black soot Hilltop Machine Works is only about a five and a half hour drive due south from where I am. So when Tom said he was going to organize a working weekend, I volunteered to go ahead and come down and spend a few days to try to do at least a little bit of cleanup in the shop. Well, a number of companies donated some cleaning products, including Super Degreaser, which was I think the primary thing that we ended up using As you can see it's just a layer of soot over all of this uh, and just a little bit of elbow grease took it right off yeah but every now and again chaos Tom's faithful companion here gives us a little bit of a break so we'll throw his toy from him that he is always anxious for you to throw but never willing to give up You gonna let it go? Yeah. <laughs> of course, I wasn't the only one that chipped in to help. Along with myself and Tom, there was his buddies Mike, Brad, Dave, RQ, Sage, and Ryan. It was quite a bit of work. We didn't get everything done that we wanted to accomplish, but um, we certainly made a big enough dent in it. We did manage to get every single one of the big machines cleaned up, at least to a somewhat respectable condition, as well as a lot of the tooling. CRC donated a whole bunch of evaporust, so every day I would take a whole bunch of it and soak it in Tupperware containers, and then the following morning we take it out, rinse it off with... Uh, water and then spray it down with WD-40 to try to get some of the water off and then later would use some CRC SP-350 as a corrosion inhibitor and a rust preventative. It was a lot of work but it was a lot of fun and it was great to finally meet Tom face to face. Well, let's come over here to the sticker cabinet here we got some new ones to share and first up is AWD Jr. This is Al. He actually only lives about 20 minutes from me, maybe 15. Al's a welder and a fabricator. Um, he recently did something where he took a axle and welded up the end of it so we can turn it down and make it a usable piece of stock. Well, next here is Mark Presling. I can't believe that anybody's watching this doesn't already know about Mark. Uh, Mark's in Australia and he really is one for the fine details um, he just finished a series on a four facet drill grinder that he built um, and it's just some of the final touches that make it so nice he powder coated many of the parts and the parts that were aluminum he anodized it and he did all of that powder coating and anodizing right there in his shop Mark, or Prezzo as he's called, um, also sent this really nice postcard along with his sticker. Next sticker here is Let's Roger That from Jill. He's in Canada. He's got a very nicely tooled shop in his garage. Uh, not only does he like machining, but he's starting to venture more into 3D printing and has made some nice tools that he can use in his shop. One of his recent projects, which I really enjoyed watching, is he made a new 
uh, back plate for a uh, four jaw chuck to fit on a friend's South Bend 13. Next here is the Shed Dweller. Uh, this is from Paul. He's in the UK. Paul has a really nice South Bend 13 that he just finished doing a uh, restoration on. Um, he's got some really nice videos on how he repaired a half nut and even had to replace a broken gear tooth on the back gear. And last but not least is Steve Watkins from Steve Watkins at Work. Uh, Steve has a big shop in Texas. One of his central pieces of machine is a big open side Rockford shaper. It's hydraulically driven. It was so big that he had to take part of the roof off and have the machine dropped in by a crane. Well, that's all the stickers for this time around. But if you have a channel sticker, I would love to add it to this door. You can find my email in the About uh, page of the channel. And if you'd like one of mine, send me an email. I don't care where you are in the world, whether you have a YouTube channel or not. I'd be glad to send you one. Well, I do have a few new acquisitions that I've added to the shop. Not the least of which is this Gerstner 42 machinist chest. It is in rough shape, but not terrible shape. I bought it from a guy that was emptying a house that he was flipping. Um, it was full of tools, and it was also full of a lot of these little reference cards and notepads and stuff like that. Based on the contents, I believe the previous owner was a tool maker and also based on what I found in this little folded uh, notepad I'm I'm pretty sure that the last owner may have been at least a third or fourth generation tradesman there was even an old photocopy of an obituary of somebody with the same last name um, I did some searching on the name but couldn't find any indication that there were any living relatives. I do intend to keep all of this stuff here in the box so that it can get passed on again to whoever gets it after me, but I do plan to clean it up, get the rust off of all the hardware, and probably replace all of the felt. Well, Doug from Metalworks Machine Shop made this sign for me. I'm a Jeep owner, and I love it. This was a gift. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, he was doing me a favor for another project, and this came along with it, and I, and I absolutely love it. Well, late last year, I was surprised to see a package in the mail from Tom at Hilltop Machine Works, and it was this little set of half-inch shank boring bars and uh, I could have used these about a month before he sent them but uh, they will come in handy for sure in the future well I got a quick hay man job one of the other volunteers down at the Midwest Railway Preservation Society brought me this bed clamp for a little wood lathe that he has that uh, was split in half and asked me if I could make another one so I dug up this piece of stock out of the scrap bin, so I think we can whip this up on the bridge port pretty easy.
Well, after a little bit of deburring and rounding the edges on the belt sander, I think this is going to work for him. I'll drop it off to him next time I see him down at the roundhouse. Well, one of the things I've been trying to do around the shop is to get a little bit more organized. And I got this Craftsman tool cart here that I used to have welding stuff in, but I've since taken it over and put all my 40 taper tooling in it for the KT horizontal mill. Um, I've got a bunch of end mill holders, I've got arbors and spacers for the one and a quarter inch arbor but I don't have spacers for the one inch arbor and I still need to get some more tooling all I have here is what you see on this top drawer shelf uh, I've got a couple of slitting saws and some dovetail cutters but I need to get some like slabbing mill cutters as well as uh, a selection of gear cutters Well, I also took to the 3D printer and made a whole bunch of these little trays to try to organize, at least to some degree, my growing collection of used and mostly used and some new end mills. These are not really organized so much as they are just separated, so they're not just bouncing around in the bottom of a drawer. So it makes it a little bit easier to find something that I'm looking for but I still need to go through them and sort them and and maybe organize these things a little bit better but this is at least a start well that's it for this episode of odds and ends if you like the video give it a thumbs up it does help with the YouTube algorithms if you are a subscriber I thank you thank you very much if you're not consider hitting that subscribe button I really do like seeing the channel grow and it grows when you subscribe and you like and you comment so leave a comment let me know what you think thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one